Hello and welcome to the new tutorial. In this video, I will explain how to create micro-realism tattoos. For this video, I use my grayscale shading technique, which I always use for black and gray tattoos. You can see the shading variations in the lower part of the image. You could also use five or more shades of gray, but I find it unnecessary. If you have any questions about the setup, please refer to the video description where I show how to set up my workspace. I'm starting here with a single needle liner. If I were tattooing on real skin, I would use a three needle round liner with a 0.35 or 0.25 thickness for this step. The difference between these needles is the thickness. Uh, if you wanna create very fine work, I recommend using the thinner one because artificial skin is quite tough. Working with a single needle liner is suitable. However, please keep in mind that the thinner the needle, the more aggressive it is on the skin. With thin needles, you may feel little resistance and may easily cause a blowout if you go too deep. Even with the gray lines, I ensure that I use the correct shades of gray. If you see a dark line in the reference, try to tattoo it accordingly. I'll fast forward the video to the next important tip to keep it as concise as possible. Here you can see that it's also possible to create fine shading with a very thin needle. The principle is the same as with thicker needles. It's crucial to go into the skin gently and exit gently. I'll fast forward the video again. Now let's move on to the eyes. Every design has its focal points that require extra attention. In this design, the eyes are the first thing you notice. So take as much time as you need here. However, try to darken the areas that are genuinely dark to provide enough contrast to the entire design. But please do so cautiously. I am speeding up the video here to keep it short and informative, but take your time for this step. I'll skip this part and fix the rest of the design with gray lines. Now I'm switching to a three needle round shader. Ideally, I would use a three needle round liner with a 0.35 thickness for this step, but unfortunately I ordered the wrong needles and have to proceed with this one for the demonstration. However, for the best results, use a round liner instead of a round shader. Always use soft in and out movements to avoid leaving visible points where you start or stop the needle. Even if you want to draw a line twice, it's crucial to smoothly withdraw the needle from the skin or you'll see the transitions. So I go in, then out. I'll fast forward the video again. As you can see, I didn't stick the needle out very far from the needle module. When I'm filling in areas, I use small circular motions. It's also possible to use zigzag or figure eight motions as long as you work meticulously. For this step, I prefer not to have the needle fully extended from the module, unlike when lining. The more the needle is extended, the less ink is deposited on the skin. This makes it easier to work precisely with less ink when filling in a large area. If you draw the circles too quickly, the result won't be solid and you'll need to touch it up later. So take your time when filling in.
Now, let's talk about the light shading, like on her clothing. I want very subtle highlights with a slight texture here. So I only use the lightest shades of gray and try not to go too deep. Even if you have the lightest gray shade in your needle module, you can create a dark spot if you go too deep. So when working on light shading, please be cautious and go over an area more times rather than going too deep. I'll skip the step where I tattoo the remaining hair. If you're interested in the full video, you can find it on my page. Without our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to produce these videos. In this video, I want to introduce you to the brand Malago. This is a tattoo cream on which you can use your own logo. I have been using this cream for years and I'm very impressed by it. With the code FONNY15, you will get a 15 euro discount on an order of 24 creams or more. You can find the links to the shop in the video description. Moving on to the remaining facial shading, which I'm doing with a single needle liner. As you can see, I'm working very carefully because even the smallest mistake would be immediately visible. It's crucial to ensure the needle goes in and out of the skin gently with every movement. There's no way to undo a mistake, so take as much time as you need. You'll naturally get faster with practice. Unfortunately, the three needle round shader makes the individual needle strokes very visible, which doesn't happen with a three needle round liner. That's why I'm correcting a few lines and adding some details with the single needle liner. After that, we're done. If you have any questions that I haven't answered, let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer everyone. Unfortunately, I couldn't completely remove the stencil. If you have any tips on how to remove it entirely, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Do you like this type of video where I try to explain everything as concisely as possible? If so, please let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you soon in the next video.